but let's talk about when to order breast MRI now. <laughs> Indications. High-risk screening would be a big one. So that's the latest and greatest indication now. That's probably what has brought breast MRI into the, um, into the forefront of the papers and the news media and you know patients come in demanding it almost or asking for it because they think this is the next best thing since sliced bread. But really um, we want to reserve it in a screening mode for high-risk patients. The other time we would use it in a screening modality is if a patient has newly diagnosed cancer. Say she uh, just had her mammogram, found a lump, we biopsied, and it is cancer. Now, if it's invasive cancer, we will suggest an MRI to screen the other side because everybody's going to be focusing on the cancer side, and you don't want to miss a cancer on the contralateral side, and you may be able to catch it earlier with breast MR. We also have... Um, the kind of the older indications, this is when breast MR was first starting, we found it was quite useful to evaluate extent of disease. For example, if there was invasion of the pectoralis muscle or if the patient had multifocal disease, back when we were trying to decide should she have a lumpectomy, breast conserving therapy versus a full mastectomy where you take off the whole breast, the, the thing that may s trigger that is just how far does the disease go. And so MR is um, very useful for evaluating extent of disease. The other indication would be axillary lymphadenopathy in a woman. The woman has big lymph nodes. They biopsy it. They find out it is cancer, but they don't know from where. A good guess is that it's coming from her breast. So you would do a breast MR to look for the primary. Of course, you would do a mammogram as well. That would probably be the first thing you'd do. But if you don't see it on the mammogram, as often is the case, then you would move on to the breast MR to try to find the primary. Because if you find the primary, again, now the clinician has a treatment plan or they have a way to, you know, they know where to go. They know where to send her. You send her to the breast surgeon, breast oncologist. She has a diagnosis. And then for patients who have a locally advanced breast cancer, something that is bigger, that uh, perhaps would benefit from neoadjuvant chemotherapy, that's also becoming now the standard of care is neoadjuvant chemotherapy, giving them therapy before their cancer is resected. Um, we found that MR is very useful for evaluating treatment response. And we've also found that MR can give you an indication of how well the patient's going to do long term.